today I'm reviewing the Casarex Advanced Snail Radiance Dual Essence. And really quick, I just want to say I purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com. Check out my Patreon community or click on the Amazon link below or Yes Style link below. Okay, so this is a newer product from Casarex. Recently, they've just come out with several new products. Uh, retinol serum, vitamin, new vitamin C serum, vitamin E serum. Decided to try them all and this one was the one I was most excited about um initially but i think i like the vitamin c serum a little bit better but anyway okay so they say this is an essence enriched with 74.3 percent triple snail complex this revitalizing essence turns back the clock to provide a glowing plumped up and youthful looking finish to aging skin and they subtly mention to pair it with the rest of casarex snail line for full impact um, out of that whole line, they've got so many good things, but their snake, their eye serum is great. I love that one. That's probably becoming my favorite, but the all-in-one cream is great too. So, okay. So my first criteria is packaging and I like the packaging, but I don't like it at the same time. Packaging is very efficient. However, for some reason, I always seem to have issues with these dual pumps. So if you look closely at it, it's got... Uh, two pumps and you can look and there's two different serums. So one is a snail mucin serum and the other one is a niacinamide serum. And you're supposed to be able to pump them and get equal amounts of each and then mix it together and apply. However, whenever I do that, I always seem to get more or less of one or the other. I don't know. Skin Medica has their serums which come in a similar pump and I seem to have the same issue with that. Uh, I just have never either... I'm never able to get equal amounts of it out. I don't know. I guess it's not a deal breaker either way because you're going to mix them together and apply them. So whether you get 50% snail mucin and 50% niacinamide serum, it's not a deal breaker. But I do have a feeling that one of these chambers is going to empty way earlier than the other one. So there you go. All that time, it's pretty close, half and half. So anyway, it's pretty efficient, but still... Not my favorite dispensing method, but give them the benefit of the doubt for that. Um, in terms of denatured or drying types of alcohol, there is none. This is also fragrance-free, uh, manufactured in Korea, so no issues with that. Uh, ease of use, so they recommend applying a moderate amount to face after prepping with toner, gently massage to aid absorption. Personally, I found this is a little bit too emollient for me to use during the daytime, just like I, the same thing with other snail serums. Unless it's the coldest, driest winter Minnesota day, I can't use them in the daytime because they're just too hydrating and I have dry skin. But for evening, they work great. Or for my neck, I can use those during the daytime. I'm using this right now in my neck area, which is always very dry, but it doesn't end up looking shiny or greasy. So, um, otherwise I just apply it in the evening. I apply it after cleansing, toning, any actives or any light serums. I'll apply it after those and then before any thicker moisturizers. Sometimes I'll layer it, uh, finish it with the Casarex All-in-One all Snail Cream too. So, pretty easy to use, but it does take a little bit of time to fully absorb. See that pump? I think I got just the mucin out, but... Anyway, there we go. So, but very nicely hydrating. Uh, I don't have any issues of this pilling. So that's always a nice thing because it's got a nice silky texture to it. But I have a feeling those with oilier skin also, and even those with drier skin probably might not have very good luck using it during the daytime. We'll see when winter comes and maybe I'll get to use it more. But for that, very easy to use otherwise. Okay, in terms of beneficial ingredients, we've got snail secretion filtrate, which is a good antioxidant and a good moisturizing ingredient. Uh, snail filtrate is comprised of a mixture of uh, proteoglycans, glycosaminoglycans, glycoprotein enzymes, hyaluronic acid, copper peptides, antimicrobial peptides, and trace elements including copper, zinc, and iron. So it's a nice combination. 
and it can do so much for your skin. I know a lot of people love it. Some people are not big fans of it, some because of the texture, but it really can help a lot brightening your skin and hydrating it and helping with your natural skin barrier. So it's a good thing to consider in your routine. Uh, then we've got niacinamide, which is so great for everything. I had a gal leave a comment the other day. I'm older. What can niacinamide do or what benefit can it provide for aging skin? And I'm like, I don't even know where to begin because if you have youthful skin or aging skin or damaged skin or acne prone skin, sensitive skin, oily skin, yada, 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 the benefits are endless with niacinamide. It's great for brightening skin. It's a good anti-acne ingredient, a good skin soothing ingredient, helps repair the natural skin barrier. Hydrating uh, helps with pores, pore size. Everyone should try and incorporate it into their routine and I Guarantee if you are dedicated with using niacinamide, you will see benefits. Okay, then we've got betaine, a good moisturizing ingredient. Meadow foam seed oil, which is an emollient plant oil coming from the seeds of the white flowering plant called meadow foam. There we go, meadow foam seed oil. Meadow foam oil has unique fatty composition with 95% of being long chain fatty acids. Uh, it also makes the oil extraordinary stable, also contains antioxidant and components such as vitamin E and phytosterols. Then we've got sunflower seed oil, a good emollient ingredient, and also helps protect and enhance the skin barrier. And skin barrier is very important because if you have a damaged skin barrier, you're more likely to have dryness, dehydration, acne breakouts, things like that. So eczema, things like that. Uh, then we've got elantlin, good skin soothing and hydrating ingredient. Macadamia seed oil, which I'm a little torn. Technically, macadamia seed oil doesn't rank as being acneogenic, but I find certain products that have a high amount of it in there just to be kind of pore clogging, but uh, it's a good emollient ingredient and contains a lot of nourishing fatty acids such as oleic acid oil. Um, and then we've got sodium hyaluronate, good humectant, a good humectant. I'm kind of tired of seeing it in everything, but what am I going to do? Then we've got arginine, a good skin identical ingredient and amino acid. And then argan oil, good hydrating and antioxidant oil. So it's got a very nice list of good beneficial ingredients, hydrating ingredients, humectants, and antioxidants. So I'm very impressed. They did a great job with the ingredient list and still maintaining, still a rather simple product with a lot of good ingredients. Okay, let's see. Uh, Casa RX is cruelty free. In terms of performance, I find this to be very hydrating. So you see, it's still kind of absorbing on my hand. Takes a while. The texture of this one is less goopy than some of their other snail products. Does a nice job when I use it in my evening routine. I'll apply it towards the end of my routine. And by the time I wake up, my skin feels much more hydrated a little bit more plump than it did be before I went to bed. Um, so overall, there's only two official acneogenic ingredients in this, butylene glycol and carbamer. However, I do personally find sodium hyaluronate and macadamia seed oil to be slightly comedogenic, even though they're not officially ranked. I still think they are, so keep that in mind. Uh, then we get to the price, and this one is a little bit more expensive than some of their other snail products. I think their snail mucin power essence, I think this one retails around $13 or so. And the ounces of these, this is a little bit bigger. So this one is 2.7 ounces, 80 milliliters, and retails for about $30 or $35, depending on where you purchase it, making it a little bit more pricey than... Um, the rest of their other snail products but in my opinion it's still relatively affordable since a little bit of this goes a very very long way a bottle like this will last at least two or three months one of these lasts four months or so so still very affordable a similar product to this one would be the Costa Baja they've got their snail niacinamide serum which I still need to review I'll review that ASAP because I've been working on that one for a while 
Um, then we get to the It Factor. It's really a nice product. Probably best geared towards dry, normal, non-acne prone, sensitive skin. I love that it's fragrance free and alcohol free. Wish the pump dispensed a bit more evenly, but what am I going to do? Uh, otherwise, it's not my favorite Cosrx snail product, but it's still a very, very good option, especially if you're someone that's looking to incorporate niacinamide and snail mucin into your routine. You get two for one, kind of. So uh, overall, very, very much enjoy the product. And with a 10 being a perfect score, I gave it a 9. Had the pump issue not been so much of an issue, it probably would have got a 10, but still pretty darn good product worth checking out, in my opinion. So I'm interested in hearing from you guys if you've had a chance to check it out yet and what your thoughts are. So leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much.